feed me more. Yo, what's going on? The big guy Ryback here once again for the big guy versus food. And today, today's challenge is uh, In and Out Burgers Double Double versus Fat Burgers 2XL Burger. We're going big. Go big or go home. That's what she said. <laughs> Here we are, sitting out here, got the burgers, I'm ready to go, I'm hungry, the big guy's always hungry, feeling good, big 40 sets of chest today, and uh, what else did I do? I did all my rehab work prior to that, it's an all day adventure, I've done no cardio yet, but I am going to do my cardio and conditioning here in a little bit, so I want to thank you guys, I think we're at like 100 and 27,000 subscribers, it's great, I thank you guys, it's tremendously for all of this so it's uh we got to take care of a couple things up front for the people bitching about the steering wheel because there's probably some steering wheels in the way i don't give a fuck second for the people saying the camera the iphone 8 plus somehow isn't good enough for some people i don't know i've had it for about a year i love the phone i did but the phone's not blurry. It's like, wipe your screen. I do. It has a protective thing over it uh, because I broke. I, I dropped it. True story. Random true story. Side side route here. Side story. Leaving the house one day, there was a spider um, on a web coming down, and it was uh, eating another creature. And uh, I, you know, it's Mother Nature. It's the name of the game. Eat or be eaten. And uh, I just didn't want the spider to somehow, like me, forget about it. And then it hit me or just whatever. And, you know, ah! I scream like a little bitch in the neighbor's see or something stupid. So I just, like, went to hit the web just to kind of, you know, get the fuck out of my way. And uh, I don't like to kill things. I try not to kill things. It's just kind of a rule that I have. Not to say that, you know, if I see a big ass spider in my house, I'm going to kill it because I don't want it to hurt my dogs or me while I'm sleeping. But, uh, sign from God, I dropped my phone when I did that and it shattered the screen. This was, a uh, two weeks ago. And, uh, I had to take it in three different times for them to replace my screen and it's still not right. So, and then they put a protective glass coating over it so that when it drops this, like one of these little gimmick things, but the camera might be a little blurry. So that's what you're dealing with. It's not because I didn't wipe my fucking phone. Okay. All right, let's go. I'm hung. I'm, I'm starving, guys. I'm excited. We're going to go with the In-N-Out double-double first here today. And uh, I love a good burger. Love a good burger. We're just going to get right into it. The In-N-Out double-double versus the Fat Burger XXL. Get this. We don't want to make a mess. Need to get a bag over here. Do these food reviews. I'm an amateur, guys. I'm an amateur. Look at this. Just look at it, guys. Just look at it. Cheese, lettuce, tomato, mayo. Oh, yeah. Come on, my daddy. Mmm. Mm. 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 Can't go wrong with it and out. I know some of you East Coasters don't know what it's all about. But you need to come to the West Coast and find out. West Side! Western Warriors High School. Mm. That was our thing. West Side. I think I, I bought that. Big guy was a hell of a football player. My Al Bundy. Polkai moment. I legit scored four touchdowns. Primarily black school, by the way. And I was the halfback, and then I eventually moved to fullback. So for those fuckers out there that don't think the big guy could run, 
you'd be quite surprised. We were bad off. All oh, those old, a lot of good memories from high school. I didn't have a shitty childhood, I had a great childhood, great life. I was fucking great at everything I did. No reason to complain. <laughs> uh, he's so full of himself. Such an ego. Mm -hmm. I say things sarcastically joking and with a touch of confidence. This is really good. Mm. Mm. A little sip of the BCAAs. Feed Me More Nutrition, my own natural premium supplement line available on feedmemore.com. You guys can save 20% with discount code YouTube20. Check it out. We got a lot of new stuff coming out too. Started with three supplements. I invested all my own money. Didn't take a loan out, didn't do anything. Bet on myself. You, gotta, you can't be afraid to take chances in life. And I wanted to hold myself accountable that if I went belly up on this, it was going to be my money I lost and not somebody else's. So now we're up to eight supplements. We're about to come out with our ninth. We have more flavors coming out. Our Wake Up Unlimited Energy, we're doing a mango candy. I just put the purchase order for that. And uh, thank you guys, because it is uh, doing really well. And it, it means a lot, so. Whoa, that burger was, was amazing. Guy, I gotta say guys, I, I went with the double from each place, and the double from Fat Burger is probably three times the size of that In-N-Out Double Double. It was also more expensive, too. But we're going to get the quality of the beef and the taste, and uh, we're not necessarily, you know, size doesn't necessarily matter in this. I know that's not what she said. I, it doesn't, and there's a lot of pissed off people about that right now, but this is more about the taste, and obviously in and out has other burgers. Probably would have had to have got the 4x4 four four to probably compete with this bad boy, but it is what it is. You guys can see the size of this monster burger. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, the lettuce, tomatoes, the mayo. This is, oh, my God. This is a man's burger, right? If you guys have not had Fat Burger, oh. Mmm. <laughs> Oh yeah. This is good stuff. Mm. This is delicious. Absolutely delicious. I'm bulking up right now. About 300 pounds. Starting the workout videos this week. I wanted to do those from the beginning with Feed Me More Nutrition, but I was so hurt my training, I was training like I am now, but I was lifting really light and doing machines and I just mentally didn't want to be, I, I didn't want to hurt myself. 
doing it. And uh, so I'm really excited because that's one of the one thing I really need to be doing for the supplement line is doing the workout videos and showing uh, the level of volume and weight that I can do that I don't think a lot of people can or even attempt to do. Mm. Mm. Show you guys a lot of different exercises and uh, how I've managed to make things work over the years. Mm. This is, I mean, still got half the thing to go. Oh, come on. Just read a really good book. 212 degrees. It's the boiling point of water. There's a huge major difference from 211 degrees, really hot water, to 212 where it's boiling. And the effects of boiling water, steam can power a locomotive, they say. It, I mean, it's proven. It's a thing, it happens. The power of steam. Mm. Going that extra mile though. 10x in it, as Grant Cardone would say. Positive mindset's very powerful. But if we lack taking action, we will never get anything done. We will never get anything done. And oftentimes, a lot of the things, like for me guys, I'm a big believer. I don't watch a lot of sports anymore. I'm constantly trying to learn for me because I've got to a place in my life. I truly believe we can spend our lives watching other people live their lives or we can live our lives. I'd rather live my life. And what I mean by that is we have distractions all around us. If you want to be, a, you know, you have a sports team and you love it, you're a fanatic. If you break it down, you're ultimately just distracting yourself which is fine. But once you understand that, and like for me, what my, and my purpose for what I'm trying to do, it's really hard to distract yourself too much. Well, cause it takes away from your goals and whatnot. So just the way that my brain works, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but I think it's important that if we don't, if we're not where we want to be in life and we're unhappy, Taking a look at how much we're distracting ourselves. Hanging out on wrestling forums, chat rooms, talking shit online. All boils down to distracting yourself. Complaining about Monday Night Raw. Complaining about SmackDown. <coughs> ah! Ultimately, just distracting ourselves. Mm. 212 degrees. That extra degree makes makes all the difference. I constantly got to remind myself of that. You know, we all do. Especially in this day and age, very competitive atmosphere. 212 degrees. I dug that book. It's a quick book. 40 minutes. Check it out. I think you'll get what you need out of it. Get a little motivation. <clears throat> BCAs just went up my nose somehow. Ah, not too bad. Mm. Hell of a... This is a, this is a burger. I think I'm always hungry. Now that I'm eating carbs again, 
my appetite's coming back. Take a look at these. It's really hard to see. I really got a huge peak, but it's hard to get the angle because I'm so goddamn big. Oh, that's 300 pounds right now, though. We're getting there. Then we're going to really start cutting, getting in shape. I'm in shape, but reversing it the other way. Let's see where we end up. Wow. <clears throat> Damn. Oh, man. Never even knew this was a thing, all these food things. Till my boy Sneaker Addict brought it up with that Popeyes thing. I've seen some of that guy Dame Drops. Is it Dame Drops? Dame Drops? Dame Drops? He's got some entertaining videos. That other family, The Bell Life, I enjoy some of theirs. That, that, that dad and son have good chemistry. Well, obviously, they're father fucking son. Well, I mean, a lot of father sons don't, but that's an entertaining family. Excuse me. A lot of entertaining people out there. All right, guys. Shut the fuck up and make your decision! Shut up! Stop it, shut up! That's how I imagine people screaming at their phones when they get mad at me. <laughs> uh, it gives me so much pleasure. Okay, guys. End of the day here. Review. Somebody actually gave me a really good uh, rating system. I, I, I still like the five-star system. We're always going to keep the five-star system. But we're also going to have, there's the Feed Me More is the highest level. Finish It is good to very good. And then, what was the, the first one? Oh, I don't remember. Stupid, maybe? Maybe it was stupid. Where, like, I wouldn't eat this again. Um, which I don't think I've ever, I'm, unless it was some sort of certain seafoods. I could see me maybe going down that path, but not not for regular everyday food here. Excuse me. Let's we'll stick with the five star. Okay, In and Out Burger versus Fat Burger. I love both of them, guys. But having them at the same time for the first time ever, and we're not like I said, we're not that 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 Fat Burger XXL was enormous. I'm gonna say. The beef on the fat burger tasted like a higher quality meat to me. Of all the years of uh, eating a lot of ground beef, different different lean levels of uh, ground beef from beef from 99 to 96 to 85 to 75. This is it. Just tasted really good. It, it, it tasted like a fat burger. Tastes like a homemade burger in a way, but way better. And uh, they, they do a great job over here. In and out, in and out has has good quality beef as well. Um, and and eating them, I love a good In and Out burger, and don't eat them nearly enough. Um, Stop saying that you never eat this stuff. We you do like two videos a day. We did like two videos a week for two or three weeks, guys. So shut the fuck up. The uh, <laughs> do one a week now, and uh, the spicy shit doesn't have any calories. Which I gotta do another spicy thing coming up here. I'm gonna go ahead, guys, and today and today's burgers. Uh, if I'm gonna go head to head, fat burger versus In and Out, I'm going with the fat burger today. That fat burger was was delicious, and the as the In and Out burger was. They're both two great, two great joints. They're, you're getting a, you're getting a better quality of beef at both restaurants compared to probably any other fast food restaurant here in Vegas that I could think of off the top of my head. And I know somebody out there is, you should have fucking done Whataburger. Well, we don't got a fucking Whataburger here. So shut the fuck up. Okay? Susan, Karen, Jeff, whatever your name is, shut up. 
the uh, I just the the tough call again. You, you put it either one of those in front of me. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna scream. Feed me more like an asshole. So uh, that fat burger though today, the XXL fat burger, really hit the spot. I feel good. Uh, powered up here. Go do some cardio in a little bit after we let this food digest a little bit. And uh, so, end of the day, guys. End of the day. Fat burger, in and out burger. You put them together in front of the big guy. The big guy's going to whack the fucking in and out burger out of the way and look right at that fat burger and say, Feed me more. Hey guys, it's the big guy Ryback, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button, and check out my all natural su my all natural supplement line. Supplement, supplement. Stupid. My all natural supplement line. Feed me more nutrition. Available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, conversation with the big guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, feed me more. Yeah.